Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Savoy. Today, we are going to do some small wars against France, and then a big war against Portugal and Spain. And we are considering getting into the League War at some point. The problem is, I really want to join the Protestant side in the League War, but fighting the Catholics looks insanely hard. It looks insanely hard. These Catholics are just a massive blob of everything. Oh, goodness. And Austria's got some nice generals like this. And Brandenburg's got some nice generals like this. And we have to be fighting all of them. And I'm not looking forward to doing that. But I do want to get in on this war if we can. I really hope we can. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? Uh, it's December now, so that's cool. We're going to be burning off some of our aggressive expansion in a little bit. We're currently sitting at um, 50 in Cologne. And now, at the end of the year, it's going to be, what, 46? 46, perfect. Goes down by about four per year, which is pretty quick, but uh, it, it does kind of put a limit on... Oh, careful there, bird. It does kind of put a limit on how much land we can take, um, trying to balance things out so that we don't form a coalition against us, or at least if we do, it's a very small one and a weak one. Important, right? Important stuff. Uh, but I do need to go to war with Senor Francie Pants over here. So let's put our maintenance up, maybe. Yeah, the Protestants have Ottomans and Russia, but Russia already lost a war to Sweden and the Commonwealth. Sweden and the Commonwealth are both in the Catholic League, so Russia would definitely lose to them again. And with Austria on their side, and Spain, and the Emperor Brandenburg, that's more than enough to take care of Russia and the Ottomans. More than enough. And yeah, that bird is, like, real loud. Real loud. Real loud. Real loud. All right, let's get our troops to the border. I'm not going to need all this shit, but we're preparing for a war against Spain and Portugal anyway, so I might as well go sit on the border. And I'm considering annexing Provence. Now, there's good reasons not to annex him. In other words, well, the main reasons not to annex Provence is so I can feed him Paris, Berry, and most of Brittany. But the reasons to annex Provence is we can probably get Brittany as a vassal peacefully anyway. Uh, he doesn't really hate us. The aggressive expansion really isn't there. And uh, he's very close to becoming a vassal peacefully. So it might make sense just to go for a peaceful vassalization of Brittany, and he can be my northern France guy instead of Provence. Uh, on the other hand, I don't know, getting Berry should be something we do relatively soon. Uh, once Britain's in this war, maybe we can just declare a separate war on Berry at the same time. That might work. But my vassal does not have a claim here, so I would have to fabricate my own claim here. Uh, and Paris, same situation. My vassal has no claim, I'd have to fabricate my own claim. His allies are crap, though. Hey, Bamba. Bam Bam Flintstone. I love it. What a great name. Thanks for subscribing, man. That bird. Holy crap. Bam Bam Flintstone. All right, let's go ahead and kick off this war. Britain's going to join, right? Of course Britain's going to join. So with Britain in this war... Wait, do I want to go eat Luxembourg? I could. All these things, all these options, uh, France, Frankfurt, and Cologne. If I was to declare on you, who would join? Everyone, okay. So don't worry about that. Let's just do France. Uh, get this war going. I'm not going to co-belligerent anyone. I'm just going to take the one province and peace out. Uh, I want all my allies in this war, and then I'm going to declare a separate war on Berry, where we're just going to take Berry for our vassal. But that means I need to fabricate on Berry. And I would like to take Paris as well, but I think Paris is going to be a little too much aggressive expansion for now. Paris we can save for later. There's just no rush. And I'm not even going to invade. I'm going to let my vassals do this war. I'm just going to keep my maintenance at a reasonable amount. And I'm going to fabricate on Berry. And we're going to give this to our vassal. Oh, we're sticking the Pope's Navy. Goodbye, Pope's Navy. That was fun. <laughs> oh, France doesn't even have a port anymore. I didn't even notice that. France has no ports at all. Wow. Interesting. Still, Oh, better relations. Yes, done. Finally, a better relations. Now, this is really important 
because 30% better relations over time means we're going to be getting rid of our aggressive expansion. Uh, instead of 3.9 per year, it's 4.6 per year. That's an, as it, that's an additional 0.7 per year for better relations with everyone. That's amazing. I mean, that's such a huge help. And being a level 2 is nice as well. Okay, finished in regimental camp. Very nice. I wonder if Lorraine would vassalize. Probably not. Let me take a look. Mm, no. Seventy-nine percent on annexing Nevers. Very cool. How much uh, development is this stuff? Twenty-three, thirty-eight, fifty-eight, seventy-four, ninety-four. 94 development's going to get annexed. Very nice. Oh, wow. My vassal Leon has a really good general. A 3-4. I like it. Our truce with Portugal is over. Cool. Well, we need to keep fabricating on him. Oh, he embargoed us. That's adorable. And the enemy now has zero army. They were just destroyed by the emperor. Good job, Austria. Good job. That's why I'm glad you're on my team. <laughs> For now. Oh, fuck you. Austria just allied Portugal. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, Austria. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But then again, it does. Because I do want to co-bligerent him, and I need to make sure that Austria will join my side in that war. But now it means we have to declare on Spain instead of declaring on Portugal. That's fine. It's all the same. Spy masters die. Don't care. All right, you guys having fun killing all these little one stacks? That looks cool. Yeah, keep doing that. And it's tech up time, except we're still three years ahead, so we're gonna wait. There we go. All right, let's declare on Bari, which means Brittany, Britain cannot join against us. Lorraine and Liege will join. Do I have a claim on you? Nope. I like Ike99. Thanks for subbing, man. Welcome abroad. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy derp chat. Now, I don't have any claims over here. Although, this would be an opportunity to go get Paris. I'm not sure if I want to go get Paris. That would be a ton of aggressive expansion. No. Paris can wait. That, that's just so much aggressive expansion. Paris can wait. We're just going to do Bury. Naked Bury. Uh, I don't care who joins your side in the war. It don't matter. I just want Bury. What? This war was a distraction. It sure was, Britain. This war meant that you could not join against me. And Russia's westernizing. Oh, that's, that's fun. Let's fabricate over here on Bergancha. Finish another regimental camp. Let's build another regimental camp. Cool. God, my vassals are like a little swarm. Look at the ants go. They're doing such good work. Here comes Austria. Did I do good, boss? Did I do good? How are you supposed to even tell which one of these wars down here? Look at this. I've got two wars, and both flags are the French flag. <laughs> How can you tell which is which? I mean, I know that this one's the France one because we have provinces sieged over here, and this is the Bury one. But the flags are identical. That's so awkward.
Portugal started a war in Africa. That sounds fun. You enjoy that, Portugal. You go right ahead. Why am I not teching up early? Because there's better things to spend the points on than wasting it on early tech. Uh, if we tech up early, it's pretty much just burning the points. You never get those points back. You just burn the points. 20% extra cost is significant. Right? Could be saving a lot of points here. I wish it would tell you. It just says 20%. I wish it would tell you what that was. Uh, let's say 10%. 60%. So it's 120 admin points that we're just burning. You could spend that on coring something. You could spend that on um, raising your stability twice. You could spend that on... Uh, upgrading your provinces, which is what we're doing. We're upgrading our provinces with these extra points. I think it's a far better thing to do than to tech up early. Teching up early is usually only viable for your military techs, um, unless you want something very specific. Like, the next military tech is pretty good for us because we get a new cav and a new cannon, so eh, maybe tech up early, but still, just save the points. There's really no reason to tech up early. Okay, we sunk some papal fleet, but we did lose two trade ships. All right, we'll have to build some more trade ships soon. Right, we're saving, we need to save money for our fleet upgrade. Thank you for letting me know. And the Ottomans have declared on the Mamluks for like the fifth or sixth time. So say goodbye to some more Mamlukian land. Ottomans are coming. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Alright, got a claim on Vergancha. Let's get another claim on Coimbra. Oh, Bari is fighting Lor uh Lorraine? Yeah, Bari is fighting Lorraine's rebels. That's adorable. All right, Aragon, you go here. Okay. Nope. Aragon's got a stack of 14 dudes. I tell him to go to go siege a province and he's not doing it. Go on, do it. Now he's just standing here. God damn it, Aragon. Forty autonomy in Charolais. Rather not. No, we're ahead on admin tech. I mean, 40 autonomy in one province is not the end of the world, but it was at zero. Zero is such a nice number for autonomy. All right, looks like I go siege this myself. Uh, let's put our air on that province and see if we can't get our air killed. Please kill my heir. Oh, say goodbye to Navarre, everyone. Goodbye. Kill my heir. Oh, hey, Theodoro Sugaina, our 54 year old treasurer, has decided to give us some free stability. What a gentleman. The Wealth of Nations was the first great work in political economy and the cornerstone of what later became known as laissez-faire. Theodoro Sagayana has introduced the concept of the invisible hand, the intrinsic ability of a system of perfect liberty to control itself and still give rise to an orderly society through the mechanism of competition. Efforts will be admired throughout the nation. Yeah. Plus one stability. Love it. And that's because we have a level three advisor. Oh, what's this? Sunday schools, which is 
More missionary strength. I love it. The Pope wants peace. You want to pay me money. No, I don't want your money, Pope. I wish I could annex you, but that would really piss off everyone. We'll get you later. Yeah, give up your claims. Have war reps. I wish I could enforce religion on you, but I can't. And get rid of your alliances. There you go. Okay. Yeah, be a good little lad. Can you kill my heir, please? No. Oh, come on, kill my heir. It's not asking too much, is it? I just want him to die. That's all. Damn it. Why can't you kill my heir? France wants peace, but I just... I can't give you peace, France. No matter what I do, peace is just not coming your way, my friend. Leon is at 44% independence desire. That's adorable. Yeah, he's rolling nines, but... Oh, maybe I should just go attack that stack. Now there's no need. Hey, we finished our castle in Champagne. Fantastic. Which means I can get rid of the one in Rathel. Yes. Alright, so Champagne's going to be our main fort in this area. If I zoom out... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Champagne, and then Metz. Yeah, th I think that's good placement. Champagne, and then Metz, and then we'll have another one as soon as we take... Hino. Hino can be the next fort because it borders a lot of land up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this plan. Or maybe Artois. Artois might be better, and then we can put one in Brabant. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Depends when, when and where we get all these lands. Get out of here, France. No peace for you. No peace for you, France. No peace for you. No. No. All right, next year we can tech up our admin and military. Very cool. How much development is this anyway? How much is it going to cost me to core? Oh, it's like nothing. That's all right. Okay, got another claim on Portugal. Do I want to keep claiming shit? I could claim his capital, but there's no way I'd be able to take his capital. At least not in this war. Maybe in a future war. I don't think I need to claim anything down there. I'm not going to claim anything on Spain. Um, no, let's just work on relations. Let's just work on relations. Wow, Netherlands is looking good, man. Is he in the league? No, Netherlands is not in the league. He should be. Huh, my vassal is in the Protestant league. Why is my vassal in the league? He's not independent. Vassals are not capable of independent thought. Or are they? Oh, Russia has a regency. All right. We should get relations up with Sweden. Yeah. He's got the PS dynasty, which used to be the... Um, Commonwealth Dynasty before the Commonwealth went Noble Republic. Interesting. Alright, there goes the target province. Unfortunately, my heir didn't die, so I'm gonna just gonna throw him at this army. I want to see my heir die. Please kill my heir. Please kill my heir. Please kill my heir. Please kill my heir. I'm not even fully paying the army right now. I just want my heir to die. Kill my heir. Please. 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 Damn it. Why you no kill? <laughs> Alright, hand this over to Provence. And uh, let's just peace out. Uh, unless I want to take some war reps here. Liege. Burgundy. Maybe. What's your war score? 25. That's enough for war reps. Alright. Because I want to peace out before January rolls around. Of both wars, I mean. Peace out of both wars. So we can start burning some of that aggressive expansion. War reps. Oh, shit. He won't even take war reps. Oh. Alright.
Alright, what if this siege su succeeds here? Maybe? Maybe, baby? There you go. Yeah, nice job, Provence. Oh, see, he knows he's getting land in the peace deal. He's like, yeah, yeah, land. Land, I like land. Land is good. Get rid of your claims on me. And get rid of your alliances. Well, get rid of some of your alliances. Okay. Done. And I know this one doesn't matter, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, now we'll peace out, Bari. You're going to my vassal. Oh, you won't. Really? Oh, I need to piece out the other idiots. All right, let me piece out the other idiots. Whoops. You won't piece out. Really? Why won't you piece out? Oh, you'll piece out. Okay. Why won't you piece out? Oh, your fort needs to fall. Fuck me. That fort better fall. Nope, it failed. Shit. Oh, you know, he might peace out, though. That might have been enough to make him peace out over here. Nope. Oh, next month, though. 127 out of 127. Come on, come on, come on, come on. End of the month should be 128 out of 127. Come on. Please? 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 No! Oh, fuck. Come on. It's 127 out of one. I want to do it before January. No! And over here, he doesn't want peace. Shit. I could concede defeat, lose 10 prestige. Yeah, okay. Let me concede defeats. Why can't I concede defeat? Oh, because he's not the war leader. I cannot concede defeat to him because he's not the war leader. Oh, come on. Paradox, this is bullshit. Why can't I concede defeat to him? I just want to get out of the war. Ah, oh, shit. His only province is being sieged in another war, and the siege failed. I can't peace out so dumb. Normally, so before this patch, what you would do is you would go to offer tribute, which is where you surrender and you'd say, I give up, you win. But look at this, he won't take any of this shit. He won't even let me give him war reps. Oh, god damn it. Give him money? Oh, okay, I can give him 600 ducats. It's kind of expensive, but okay. Good idea, Twitch chat. Good idea. There we go. Oh, man, that's nice. Thank you, Twitch chat. Yay! Goodbye, Barry. Provence. Provence, drunk. Oh, shit, I pieced out France. I didn't mean to piece out France. Whoops. Uh, I clicked on a piece deal. I thought it was Barry, because France and Barry have the same shield. I thought it was Barry's peace offer. It was France's peace offer, but it was fine. He just made me. He just gave me the one province that I wanted, so it's fine. How's our AE look? Um, it's pretty bad. 67, 55, 25. Yeah, it's fine in the Iberian Peninsula. 29, 30. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, cool. And it's December, so it's going to go down again by 4.6 everywhere. Beautiful timing on those peace deals. I don't know what the France one was. Does it show me here? Nope. And this is a problem. So sometimes when there's a peace deal. Most of the time when there's a peace deal, and if you just accidentally hit OK and it goes away from the screen, most of the time it'll show up here in the log so you can read the details of the peace deal. But look what happened this time. Maybe 10% of the time, 10% of all the wars in the game will not show you their details in the log. And I don't know why. It, why doesn't it show the details in the log? It doesn't make any sense. I'm assuming it's something like France will cede Roers to Savoy. France will give Savoy like 40 ducats. France will break treaties with whoever, and France will pay us war reps for a while. Something like that. That's typically what a peace deal would look like that the AI offers you. Hey, Deimos. If you want on the desk, you gotta be nice. Okay, here comes Deimos. You wanna say hi to the camera? No? Over here? Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, that worked out pretty well for us. Let's get you back to Champagne. And, okay, yes, you're, you're clicking. <laughs> Deimos wants pets. And he's pushing my mouse around, which is clicking the buttons on the mouse. 
All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, why don't <laughs> he's headbutting the microphone now? Oh goodness, Deimos. He's a, a big kitty. He's like 18 pounds. So he's pushing everything around very effectively. Okay, yes, yes. I can't I can't really play like this. Why don't we call this an episode here? Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Deimos has been Deimos. He is really headbutting the microphone now. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.